This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters and today I'd like to talk to you about the proper installation techniques for the new Rapid RH 4.0 EX Smart Sensor. But before I actually do that, there's two things that I like to bring up to people that are doing any kind of relative humidity testing. The first thing is, I would encourage everyone to have a current copy of the latest ASTM F2170 uh, standard at their disposal. Uh, it definitely ensures that you're doing the procedure exactly the way it's supposed to be done. The second thing is that even though you're viewing this installation video, I would ask that everybody please read the latest installation instructions that are in each one of the smart sensor packages that you purchase. Now, on to the concrete. So now that we're on the concrete, the first thing we need to do is we need to drill the hole. So we need to use a, an SDS rotary hammer drill and a four-bladed carbide-tipped three-quarter inch masonry drill bit. That's very critical to ensure that we have a very round hole. Typically, if you use a two-bladed drill bit, it's something where it's going to give you a little bit of an oval or egg-shaped hole. Using the four-bladed drill bit ensures that it's actually a, real, a very round hole. Uh, the other thing you want to ensure is that you want to ensure as you drill the hole that you're perpendicular to the concrete. After that, what you want to do is you want to utilize the vacuum attachment, drill or uh, vacuum in and around the hole, and also utilize the wire brush to ensure that you get the pulverized concrete off the hole. Big key here is to make sure that you have a clean surface to work from or on top of and within when you're inserting the sensor. Next thing we want to do is we want to take this ruler that we're putting in each one of the sensor packages now and ensure that the depth is appropriate based on the ASTM F2170 standards. Next, some of the feedback that we've had from the field is that we've found out that they would definitely like to have a more robust insertion tool. So in listening to that feedback, one of the things that we did we developed a more robust and ergonomically correct insertion tool. And it's got a dual purpose actually. First purpose at this stage is to ensure that the hole is the appropriate depth or the appropriate roundness. And you want to do that by just using this kind of as a go no go gauge to ensure that there's little or no friction as you're dropping it down into the hole. Now as an example, as you take the, the Rapid RH 4.0 EX smart sensor out of the package, this is designed for a hole that is 40% into a 4 inch slab. Just the way it sits, it will perfectly line from the, from the bottom to the top of the hole. Now if you have a 5 inch slab, as in this case right here, you'll utilize the extensions that come in the package and you just add them on top. So if you add one, that's the perfect length for a 5 inch slab. So now that we figured out the configuration, what we want to do is we want to take the actual protective orange protective cap that you will utilize at the end, put it on the end of the insertion tool, take the smart sensor, and insert it into the hole. Now at this point, take the protective cap, put it right into the end of the uh, extension, and put that and push it down to the surface of the concrete. Now we have to wait the appropriate amount of time based on the ASTM F2170 standard, but as you come back to get the readings, after that time frame, you just pull the cap off, take the easy reader, put it into the, hole, the smart sensor, and it will actually give you a reading that will toggle back and forth between relative humidity and temperature for as long as five minutes. This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters signing off.